position on the three. Splash. I always say it. Clock starts going down. If you're Cincinnati, you want the ball in Troy Copain's hands. Because more times than not, something good will come of it. 12 to 4 run. Cincinnati still hasn't missed. 6 of 6 from the field. A Wandu boy was surrounded by White. Go home. He told them to slow down. Let's make the right passes. Now, Roz, this has been such a resilient team. We mentioned ups and downs, those peaks and valleys, that's all part of growth. And that growth should manifest itself in a game like this. If it goes in and he's been working on it and working on it, everything is unorthodox, but he can put it in a hole. Yeah, lefties have a tendency to, to look that way. Nevertheless, effective. This ties their largest lead of the game. A one do. With plenty of time to shoot. Awandu, beautiful court vision, Wade couldn't hit. Trying to go back up, swallowed up by that defense. Shot clock at 25, it did reset. And they wisely pass it out. Smart play, a way to bring it out. Brown, Awandu from deep. That's good. And that push, even though it's kind of hovered around 10, 11 points. Zawandu hits exodus of players out of the program and I wonder decided to stay and he told me he thought it was the best decision for him For the Kings even I had a chance to play for the Kansas City Kings for a couple of months I think everybody played for them. they've been around so long well, Lenny, You were growing up of course just as he was hitting his stride coming into the sport Absolutely was you coming uh, They so haven't yeah. put them in the bonus yet only their fourth team foul we had a, a great conversation with Cronin yesterday. Think about the health scare that he had a couple of years ago. Missed the NCAA tournament with the aneurysm in March of 2015. He coached them last year for the years. Talked about just how far this program has come.